YouTube. I'm here today with some products that I did not enjoy. I had some really good light today, so I wanted to get a couple of these videos done. And I'm actually just going to dive right in because if this is central New York, no one ever knows what the weather's going to do. I got some good sunlight. I'm going to use it. Can you see some of it here? Anyways, so the first products that I have here are the LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil. First off, this is a massive amount of packaging, but that is literally all the product you get. You can't sharpen them. You can't touch them up. That is it. I mean, it's a dollar, so I, I can't really complain, but it just seems like a lot of packaging for a tiny amount of product, which is it's deceiving. I thought I was getting a lot more when I got this, but I mean, it was a dollar, so I can't really complain. Uh, the problem that I have with these is that they just don't stay put. They smear all over the place. They're just not good quality. And so, I mean, I wasted two bucks on something that didn't work. So those I'm gonna see maybe if somebody wants them. If not, I'm probably just gonna chug them. I don't know. I hate being wasteful. And normally, I'm the type of person to use a product, like, out of anger. I will use it all the way up. Especially if I spent good money on it, like that philosophy eye cream I talked about a few videos ago. I used it all up even though I thought it was dumb like, and it wasn't doing anything because like, I don't want to waste it. But these are products that I'm just done trying. Alright, the next one I have is from Unique. The Beachfront Self-Tanning Spray. And I was like, so excited to try this. I had numerous people tell me how awesome it was. Representatives and just normal people. I was such a streaky mess. I stood in the shower and scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed until I got it all off because there was no fixing this. It was horrendous. I just, I'm blown away. I mean, it had a nice undertone. It wasn't orange or anything, but aside from that, it was awful. And it also leaked all over everything. So, I don't know, the rest of this that's in here is going in the trash because I'm mad at it. This is actually something I used up in the the little bottles that I got in, um, I want to say last month's Target Beauty Box. They are the Beautiful Volume uh, Conditioner and Shampoo, and they're that special set that you're supposed to use the conditioner first and then the shampoo. I, they didn't hurt my hair, but they didn't do anything special to my hair, and it totally messed up my shower routine. I normally wash my hair, put my conditioner in, and put it up in a clip, and then do the rest of my shower routine, and then wash out the conditioner. So when I was doing this, I had to put the conditioner in, shower in, and then or the shampoo in, and then just let my hair sit in the hot water. And it didn't feel like it did anything special to my hair at all. It didn't feel more volumized. It didn't feel lighter or cleaner or anything. So um, I'm definitely going to give these a pass. I mean, they were only little bottles to me. If I used them consistently, it'd be different. But I don't feel like it. So yeah, these are a pass for me. All right, the next one I have is the Freeman's Feeling Beautiful Coconut Glow Leave-On Bronzing Mask. I, d I don't really know what I was thinking. Actually, I do know what I was thinking. I was thinking I loved Freeman masks. I have tried a whole bunch of them, and I've loved every single one, except this one. I just turned my face orange. Like, bright orange. That's not brown. That's Cheeto. I'm not enjoying that. So I used it once, and then never again, and it's been sitting in my bathroom. And now I'm just going to get rid of it because I'm doing this whole declutter thing. I'm trying to get rid of all the bad stuff. Out the door. New year, new me. Kind of go away trash. Next thing I have here is the Sonia Kashuk Chic Luminosity Glow Powder. I, You can see I've almost hit pan. Like, I gave this stuff a good go. It does nothing. It's a straight up white powder. And I can't figure out what you're supposed to use it for. I've tried setting my makeup with it. And it left a white cast. I tried setting my under eye with it, and it left a white cast. It was just, if I'm not using it on my face, and I'm not using it on my under eye, what are you supposed to use this powder for? I don't know. So, I'm done trying. I don't have enough room for something. I don't know what it is. It's also, it feels really chalky. It's not, like, a quality powder. So, I'm not really too sad that you're getting rid of this. And I feel like Sonia Kashuk is really hit and miss to the point where I don't really even want to purchase her stuff because... It's from a really pricey end of drugstore. I don't remember how much this was, but it was more than I wanted to pay for something that didn't work. Alright, next thing I have here is the... My uh, drugstore Rite Aid knockoff 
I think it's like supposed to be like Neutrogena's makeup remover. Yeah, compared to Neutrogena Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. I have never tried the Neutrogena one, so I can't speak to that one, but this stuff smells horrendous. It smells like embalming fluid or something. It's just disgusting. I cannot use this on my face. I've used it to take swatches off. And that's all of that, because I tried to use it on my face once, and I was like gagging. It was disgusting. So, I don't know what is in this thing that makes it smell so bad. If I knew, I could avoid it in other products. You would think it smelled good because it has aloe and cucumber and stuff like that in it, but something in here is just awful, and I'm I'm gonna keep it to do swatches, but I wanted to warn people because this is it was it was bad. All right, so next thing I have here is the Tarte Glisten Cheek Stain. It's just like um a cheek stain, exactly like the product says. It's a cheek shade. I'm not a huge cream product fan, anyways. I got it thinking I was gonna get into it, but once you sheer it out, it almost completely disappears. There's like a shimmer there, maybe. It's just it doesn't last very long. Like, I feel like it's one of those things that you're supposed to just sweep it on your cheek with no makeup on and go out the door. And it's just not my thing. So I'm going to see if somebody wants it. If not, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it because it's going to sit in my drawer forever. This is the That Gal uh, Brightening Face Primer by Benefit. And this, it does brighten, but I feel like it made my makeup separate a lot faster, which is like the opposite of what I want for a primer. I would rather have a primer that makes my makeup last longer than a primer that is brightening. If it has brightening and staying power, that's phenomenal. But this just made my makeup break up, and I was not impressed. That's why I was using it like a highlighter and other stuff. It's just not working. So, next door. And the last thing I have that was kind of disappointing was the Pacifica Pale Juice Cleanse AHA Surface Recall Mask. It's supposed to be like an enzyme exfoliating mask, and if it did anything i couldn't tell but i feel like with an enzyme mask i'm not really sure you would be able to tell i didn't feel anything when i put it on but i also didn't feel anything different when i took it off and it's got some really great stuff in here it has um pineapple papaya aloe juice ginger i don't know what ginger is supposed to be doing it does have hyaluronic acid which is good but i don't i just i didn't see enough of a difference warrant repurchasing this so i'm gonna go ahead and say thank you all right that was it for my disappointing products that i have collected i hope you enjoyed and i hope that you are having a wonderful day thank you so much for watching mm -hmm.